we're putting up now the buckets that you can put large denomination, denominated bills into, uh, or you can put coins into, whatever you can spare, which goes to the hall uh, in, in terms of your your people's choice of war. And I'm going to uh, invite out now to the stage, not all the judges, because I've nominated one of their number to talk about the performances tonight and, um, and to to announce the winners, and that is Joan Ford. So a big round of applause for Joan. Well, hasn't it just been the most fantastic night? Yes. <laughs> it's created huge problems. It's made our job really hard. We, um, Joe, we're going to start off with the People's Choice Award, I think, which was the last of those to be sort of voted on by the people with the buckets. So thanks so much for your generosity. That money is not going to the performers. I'm sorry if you thought that was. Um, you were like unloading your pockets into the buckets. Um, I can tell you now that no single performer would have made um, probably even the petrol back into town. But, um, but overall, Overall, across the 13 buckets, I'm probably just make it easier that we're taking that money um, for the curtains and for heating and, 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 and maintaining this building. But I can tell you that individually it's not a great deal, but actually collectively it's $473.70. Oh. Um, and that is just, I think that's absolutely outstanding. That can stay on the floor. Um, and um, I'm just going to look here because I want to make sure that I get this right as far as the People's Choice Award comes with a $300 check. Right? That I've got in my hot little hand. That's the $500 one. I've got it somewhere else in my hand. <laughs> Drum roll, please, everybody. Coming in at number four. So you didn't win it, but I'm just going to work back. I'm going to build up the. I'm going to build up the anticipation. All right. Okay. So we with me coming in at number four with a grand total of fifty-two dollars and ten cents. Neil the Trucky Pearson. Coming in at number three with a grand total of fifty-five dollars seventy. Riley Booth. Down to the sharp end for the People's Choice Award at $67.50 is Olivia Robinson. <laughs> Number one. The again. Coming in at a grand total of $76.10 is Sophie and Ella. Dance both at the um, the audition and tonight they did a, a different dance tonight that they put together in the week that they had um, in between the audition they um, are destined obviously for careers within the dance field uh, you really wowed us with your performance and the intensity and the change of rhythm and music and the seamless sort of connection that you managed to, with your with uh, with your connection between. You, each other, but also with the music, was just absolutely fantastic. Well done. You are the 2019 Combolton Got, Got Talent People's Choice Award. $300. <laughs> Round of applause. as to who I should write that cheque out to, probably somebody's mum and dad, but John. Okay, as I was saying earlier, you did make our jobs really hard, which is a good thing. Who are we going to start with? We're going to start with the Best Amateur Act. The Best Amateur Act, which comes with a grand total of $500, the Best Amateur Act. So the, there were some people who were professional, so they weren't eligible for the Best Amateur Act, and the criteria was that if you are a professional, 
In other words, you weren't included in this, as if you'd ever been paid for a performance before the final. Everybody else was included in consideration of the best amateur. Drum roll. <laughs> She said that it was her, her passion. Uh, in her audition, she wowed the judges with uh, doing Edelweiss, which I thought was incredible because it just was so unexpected. Uh, and, as, and then here in the final tonight, she did an Adele song, which she said was way out of her comfort zone, but she absolutely smashed it. And um, well done, Kathleen. Do you want to say a few words? Sure. Yeah, I'm so humbled. I'm so humbled to to be up here. It's been a long journey for me to find my singing feet again since, I guess, finishing university and then coming to teaching. Um, and I'm just so, yeah, so, um, yeah, blessed to have people like you who, you know, um, kind of encourage me to keep going and to, and to not just, uh, you know, put my hobby as something that I can't actually succeed at. So um, I thank you. I thank you very much for you know, listening to me tonight and, and continuing to encourage me in my, in my journey as well. Now, just on that particular category, we'd like to make a special commendation to two people because it, it is very hard when you watch some very talented people, and those two are Olivia and Neil. Jonah, we're going to go on to the Best Local Act. Is that what we've got next? And the Cora Lodge Activities Voucher for two, including axe throwing, archery, mini golf, and clay bird shooting. Right. Most people in this room are thinking, boy, if I only had the chance of winning that prize. <laughs> Thanks to the Cora Lodge. The Best Local Act, which covers local uh, performers who are genuinely local. We spread the uh, the, the, the call far and wide, right across the Manawatu and right, right across Horofenua. Uh, but the local act relates to Kimbolton, Kiwi, Tia, effectively Arua, um, Apiti, Rangawahia, Waituna West and um, Cheltenham. And so, drum roll. Now this is when the judges actually take Mini golf and archery. Yeah, so that's what 
you can do whatever you like. So I'm sure if you went there, you could sit there and probably just have a few more. Now, just before you go, I was talking about with the, how difficult it was with the amateur acts, and I'm so glad she's still standing here, because this was the third person that we just found it so hard trying to make a call. Thank you so much. Jane, Jane, I'm getting, I'm getting excited, Jane, because we're getting down to the last two, aren't we? Um, we need to... Um, we'll shall, shall I give you a poem? I'll give you one of Kathleen Mattensfield's first poems. There you go. Yeah. We're going to have a poem off. No, no, no this, is, this is a good one because I learned this when I was five years old. This was the first poem she ever wrote. Skin is thin, but it keeps me in. <laughs> <laughs> Can I give you a quick haiku? A haiku is a Japanese poem. It has five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables, very structured. To write a poem in 17 syllables is very different. <laughs> <laughs> Stu, you'll get it later, mate. You'll get it later. You love, love poetry. Love it. Love it. I'm not telling a sheep joke, you told me, so... Uh, we've got um, the best school student act uh, with a prize of $100. And... Um, I haven't written who that one's out to either, so you're going to have to announce it. The Best School Student Act. Emergence, would you like to come back up on stage? Thank you. Sophie and Ella. <laughs> That's why I haven't written it out, because I'm going to talk to you guys later on about um, actually who I write this out to. Thanks so much. You really entertained us tonight. You've already received the People's Choice and now the Best um, School Act. Well done. You've done fantastically well. Thanks, guys. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long night. It's been emotional. But we have seen, over 700 on the cheek in my hand. Could everyone just stand and start doing a slow clap? what is going to be a stellar career that everybody saw tonight and was blown away. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to end the night on um, Riley performing again. We're putting you on the spot, Riley. We're putting Taylor on the spot because he's frantically looking through going, oh, he's a music, he's a music. But I, before we, um, we vape that stage and, um, and hand it over to you, and then we'll just wrap up at the end so I won't come back on the stage. We'll just leave it on the high note of Riley's performance. I want to be able to thank our judges tonight, um, Richard, Helen Warboys, and Joan Ford. A big round of applause for our judges. <laughs> Not have it easy. Um, big round of applause for the man in the rooms who's we're going to be shy of it come out, Tony War. Tony War. You said earlier that it wasn't his idea, but the community got in behind the idea when it was put. Uh, 
about um, having a kibbutz and Scott Talent. I think it's just been a fantastic success. I want to thank again the people who have put on the amazing supper for us. Taylor, our sponsors from Cora Lodge, uh, the church has provided the sound equipment, and um, uh, Steve and Mary, Steve and Mary, yeah, video productions, thanks um, so much. We couldn't have done it without your support. And a big warm round of applause for yourself as well. Whether you live in Kimbolton or are now forever connected with Kimbolton, I hope you have a warm spot in your heart for this little community. As you come through, it says there's 249, I think, people on the sign uh, in the Kimbolton community, and I think we back way above our weight, uh, our, um, our weight and our number. We're an incredibly pr proud little community, but we're proud to actually be part of the Manawatu, um, Arera, and um, the wider North Island and rural community of New Zealand. So thanks so much for coming tonight. Um, and your energy and your enthusiasm. And thanks for all the performers. And on that note, let's have a big round of applause as we just hand it over to Ray. Big hand uh, applause for Chris for a fantastic job he's done tonight.